The Hair Transplant Network is the largest hair restoration community created by patients to help you find the best hair loss treatments and surgeons based on results. A question here that came in, uh, what does Dr. Munoz think about minoxidil's effect on collagen production? Oh, this is a question. I don't know You're, why. A lot of you people... Are, <laughs> You are one of the, the premier doctors for minoxidil. I mean, you're like one of the first guys besides Dr. Sinclair in Australia uh, saying, you know, get on oral minoxidil. So you're like the minoxidil guy. So Ross Sinclair is probably the, is the father of the oral minoxidil, I would yeah, say. Yeah. Uh, but uh, he has he's tried to use a lot of oral minoxidil. And I've used minoxidil, oral minoxidil probably like in the last five years. I treated hundreds of patients. I don't know why a lot of patients, a lot of patients ask me this question about collagen. I think uh, it's like something is uh, some, some, someone publishing in the forums or whatever, and and the and the balls just grow, grow, grow. But yeah. right now we don't have really any data with oral minoxidil that it could have any significant impact in collagen producer or wrinkles or whatever. Okay, so right now we don't have data about that. So I, I don't not gonna do any kind of recommendation about that. Yeah. So in your practice, you haven't seen, because basically what it is, right, is that uh, some doctors will actually say, look, I've seen, uh, you know, premature aging in patients that take minoxidil. Either they say, you know, they, they, they have really bags, they, they start to wrinkle more. And so some patients, of course, on the forums and things, talk to each other, and it sort of becomes this known thing where if you get on minoxidil, you could prematurely aged have you seen that at all in your in your practice no. that's that's the thing melvin no i have not um i for instance well, i would say i have some patients with oral minoxidil and they have taken it probably like more than five or five years and i do a lot of clinical photographs i have not ever ever seen nothing about that so at least in my experience that's something that i do not see is and is it something that i do not see and I see hundreds, hundreds of patients each year. Something that what well, is my grain of salt. Perfect. Yeah, and I have to say I've been using minoxidil for like almost ten years now, and uh, I haven't noticed any of that. But yeah, it's it's a concern that some people have.